When I look at a roll of film, I see an invitation to discovery. Let's see where this roll of film takes us. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. But with bills to pay and a family to feed, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. Come along as I follow my passion trying to create art that shows the essence of nature in a photograph. I'll be sharing my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Riding the Edge. Keep it simple. <laughs> That's my philosophy for photography. Simple doesn't always mean easy. It's really more of a state of mind. With my photography, I don't add complexity unless I think I need it to make the photo. Not a lot of complexity in this scene really liking the vertical element here. With the addition of mist and fog, that's really helping me simplify the composition. I'm not really sure about this front tree. It really has a strange lean, but that might also make the, in, the image a little more interesting. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little concerned with that little bow in the base of it. Fog and mist does have a uh, tendency to simplify compositions. Well, the fog's kind of lifting, but we got this beautiful glow from the lake getting the sight of these trees. There's a nice sense of depth here that it's really a basic shot. I'm choosing to do it vertically, focusing on this slanted tree here and then trying to space everything out. Uh, these three here, kind of playing with these as, as a, using them as a way to plow for each other. I wish there was a little bit more fog. <laughs> Seems like it's coming and going. Well, I was driving by and I saw this old apple tree. I don't know if it's a wild apple or something, something somebody planted. But we're in December. They're uh, coming out of the tree. I think... I, I really want to try to make a photo here. I think these golden, these light colored apples against the darker background might stand out pretty good. It's just trying to find a good combination, a good cluster a good uh, arrangement of, of apples to have some balance is the, is the trick. And my longest lens with me right now is a 135. I almost wish I had a 200 millimeter. It's like I get, have to get a little closer to the tree and shoot up on it more than I would like. If I had 200, I could get back a little further and uh, not feel like I'm shooting up on the tree. But I think I can still make something work with this lens. I don't know. I... I almost didn't stop and I thought, you know, that might be worth playing with. Might be a kind of an interesting, artsy, abstract looking image.
returning time and time again, revisiting the same compositions when the uh, elements change can give you a completely different photograph. A month ago or so, I, I made a similar shot here. And I noticed it was kind of foggy in the hills, so I thought I might come out and uh, try this composition again, see if it gets a little bit better with a little more uh, atmosphere, a little more mist, a little fog. We don't get a lot of fog out here, so when there's some fog in these hills, <laughs> I, uh, if I get a chance, I like to run out here and, and see if I can make a photograph. It's a very similar composition that I've made out here before. But having the fog on the hill over there does add a little bit of drama to the scene. Keeping with the theme of simplicity, I've decided to dedicate my efforts in 2024 to film photography. Now, I've said in the last couple of videos that I'm a film photographer and that that's the case. <laughs> it's my intent that I do all my photography with film, on film. Which means if I'm doing my photography on film, this channel is going to be a film, film photography channel for at least this, this year. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's going to be a, a fun adventure, exciting. I have a couple projects I'm working on and none of those projects will be affected by what uh, medium I decide to shoot. Film will work just fine. It actually might work better on some of the projects I'm working on. And yes, it's more expensive. But I also feel like if it's worth making a photo of, it's worth the cost. So I hope you decide you want to join me in 2024. I hope you want to join me on my little journey uh, in film photography. As I said at the beginning of this uh, video, I look at each roll of film as an uh, invitation for discovery. And that's uh, something I'm really looking forward to this next year. I'm not sure why this scene has struck a chord with me. I keep revisiting this stand of trees in a forest not far from where I live. And I, th I think it's just the way the, the branches kind of stick out and cross. I haven't completely been satisfied with photos I've made here and I'm not sure today's going to be any different. <laughs> I'm not really sure where I'm going to go from here. We may just walk around a little bit and see if something jumps out at us. I've ended up blowing quite a few frames on this area so I'm not going to have a lot to show from this roll of film. But that's okay I guess. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> I noticed these uh, leaveless trees here in the fog from a distance. I'm on a footbridge here. I'm using a 135 millimeter lens to crop in really tight, focus on the uh, middle to upper part of these last uh, 
half of these trees. I think they work the best together. Getting some interesting side light in the fog. Giving some texture to these, uh, uh, nice uh, shaping texture to these trees. It's, it's kind of an interesting uh, piece. You just have to kind of visualize it, what it would look like without all this other stuff around it. It's a lot of these crossing lines, almost like a spider web. It's pretty cool. I'm always attracted to this kind of stuff. You almost, they almost look better if you squint a little bit. <laughs>
and would like to help keep me out making photos and videos, consider picking up one of my zines or visit my PayPal donation page at my website, ridenetsphotography.com. Most of all, don't forget to like and subscribe. And why not leave a comment introducing yourself? I'm always interested in who stopped by my channel to say hello. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.